Facebook groups are a great way to build a community of fans and users. It's an organized place for people to interact and share content to other like-minded individuals. It doesn't take much to start a Facebook group, and there are several benefits to doing so. Hey, this is Nick from Snappa, and in today's design tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a free Facebook group cover photo using a custom template that you can easily repurpose. So let's get right into it. What you want to do first is to make sure that you have the right Facebook group cover photo size so that your banner is optimized for Facebook's guidelines. The recommended Facebook group cover photo size is 1640 pixels by 856 pixels. When creating a Facebook group banner photo, you'll need to take into account the safe zones for mobile and desktop devices. The mobile safe zone in this case actually crops out the top and bottom of your photos on mobile devices. So when designing your group banner photo, you actually want to include all of your design elements within the safe zones, or else your images can look like this. To make things simple, we're going to use Snappa to create a Facebook group cover photo within less than 5 minutes. When selecting a template in Snappa, you want to make sure that you're clicking on the Facebook group cover photo because the event cover photo and the personal and business page cover photo is different in sizing. Once you're in, you can choose to create a graphic from scratch or you can choose from a variety of different designs that Snappa offers. In this case, I'm going to go to the feature templates and choose this one here. So once I have the template that I like, I can actually go ahead and repurpose this template to suit my needs. So first I'm going to start off by editing the text. To edit the text, I'm going to double click on it. From here, I can change the font style, font size, and font color to my liking. I'm going to change the text from earn a to create. I'm going to extend the text box and also change degree to designs. Now I'm also going to change the subheadline text. So I'll double click it as well and type in the text that I want. I'm going to extend the text box so that it fits. I'm also going to decrease the size just a bit. And then from here, I can reposition the text to my liking. So the next thing I want to do is change the logo to my brand's logo. So I'll navigate to the graphics tab. From here, I can choose from a variety of icons that Snappa offers. I can also search some if I want, but I can also upload my own logo. And that's actually what I did here. So now I'm going to click on the logo that I uploaded. It's going to appear on the canvas. And from here, I'm going to resize it and then reposition it. And now I can delete the old logo and replace it with the new one that I just added. Now that I have my text and logo in place, I'm going to change some colors so that it's more cohesive with my brand. I'm going to start by changing the color of the text. And I'm also going to change the color of the border here. So I'm going to click on it. And here I can also choose to change the type of border that I want. But all I'm going to do is change the color by using the color picker. Lastly, what I want to do here is change the background photo to something a bit more relevant. This photo actually works perfect here, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to change it to something different. So I want to navigate to the backgrounds tab here. From here, I can choose from the photo library that Snap offers. I can also choose from a variety of different patterns. I can upload my own background image. I can choose a colored background. But from here, I'm going to actually search the photo library for something a bit more relevant. Once you found an image that you like, you can navigate down and click on it. As it appears on the canvas, you can also reposition it by clicking on the reposition button. From here, you can scale in or scale out, and you can move it to where you want it to be. Once you're done doing that, you can click apply. And if you want to make any other changes to the background, you can navigate to the effects tab in the top left here. And from here, you can add a color overlay. You can darken the image. You can also add a blur if you want. You can decrease or increase the saturation of the image. You can also change the hue, brightness, or contrast of the image, but I kind of like how it looks here, so I won't make any further changes. So once you're done with your design, you can navigate to the top here to preview how it looks like on desktop devices as well as mobile devices. You can also rename it, and you can also save it within Snappa so that you can make modifications in the future. Finally, what I'm going to do is download the image, so I'll navigate to the Downloads tab. I can choose from a variety of different formats. I'll select one, and once it's downloaded, I can then upload it directly into Facebook. And there you have it, a professional-looking Facebook group cover photo done in less than five minutes. 
If you're looking for more information about Facebook group cover photos and best practices and mistakes to avoid, check out our detailed blog post that I linked down in the description below. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel if you're looking for more videos on Facebook or any social media tips and tricks. I'll see you guys all in the next one.